Hello guys and welcome back. In this video I'm going to talk about all the structures visualized in the apical for chamber view. Thank you for all your support and don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. So let's start. This is a series of videos where I'm showing you all the structures you can visualize on different views. In echocardiography, there is four different types of apical views, but in this video, I'm going to start with the apical four chamber view. This is the apical four chamber view. If you want to know how to obtain this view, I'm going to leave you the link in the comment section if you want to watch this video. Now let's begin and I'm going to show you all the structures you can visualize in the apical four chamber view. The first big chamber at the top of the screen on your right hand side that looks like triangular in shape, it's the left ventricle. In this view, the left ventricle is formed by the two following walls. On the left hand side, between the two ventricles, we have the inferior septum. And on the right hand side, we have the left ventricular lateral wall. The inferior septum and the lateral wall are divided into segments. The top segment corresponds to the left ventricular apex or apical segments. Lower down, you can find the middle segments and closer to the valve, you can visualize the basal segments of these two walls. Inside of the left ventricle, we can often visualize the anterolateral papillary muscle. In this view, we can visualize two valves. The valve on the right hand side of this view corresponds to the mitral valve. In this view, we can visualize a few structures of the mitral valve apparatus. And starting with the mitral valve annulus, we can assess the anterior mitral valve annulus and the posterior mitral valve annulus. Also, we have the mitral valve leaflets. On the left hand side, we can see the anterior mitral valve leaflet and on the right hand side, we can see the posterior mitral valve leaflet. In this view, we can also identify three of the six mitral valve scallops. From the inferior septum to the lateral wall, we have A3, A2, and P1 mitral valve scallops. You can also visualize here the mitral valve cords. The mitral valve cords are very thin and fine structures attached from the papillary muscle to the mitral valve leaflets. Now, at the bottom of the screen, we have the left atrium. The left atrium is this black rounded echo free space under the mitral valve. This white vertical line, very echogenic in the middle of both atriums, is the interatrial septum. This structure at the bottom of the screen that looks like a dense line 
It's the left atrial roof. Entering the left atrium, we have the pulmonary veins. Closer to the interatrial septum, we can see the right lower pulmonary vein and the right upper pulmonary vein. Now, closer to the posterior mitral valve annulus, we can see the left lower pulmonary vein and the left upper pulmonary vein. The next chamber we can see in this view, at the top of the screen on the left hand side, it's the right ventricle. The right ventricle is formed by the interventricular septum on the right hand side and also by the right ventricular free wall on the left hand side. The next valve visualized in this view is the tricuspid valve. You can also identify different structures of the tricuspid valve apparatus. Depending on the cut, but most frequently in this view, we can visualize the anterior tricuspid valve leaflet and the septal tricuspid valve leaflet. In the right ventricle, often you will be able to visualize the papillary muscle. Attached from the papillary muscles to the tricuspid valve leaflets, you can also see the tricuspid valve cords. And to finalize with the tricuspid valve, in this view we can also visualize and assess the tricuspid valve annulus. The right atrium is also seen in this view. The right atrium is this black rounded echo free space under the tricuspid valve. And this echogenic line at the bottom of the screen we call it the right atrial wall. And to finalize, don't forget that we can visualize the pericardium in this view from all angles. Now let's do it one more time, but now in a video, I'm going to show you again all the structures visualized in the apical four chamber view. At the top on the right hand side, we have the left ventricle, which is formed by two walls, the inferior septum and the lateral wall. These walls are divided into three segments, basal, middle and apical segments. Inside the left ventricle, sometimes we can see the anterolateral papillary muscle. And the first valve visualized on the right hand side, it's the mitral valve. In this view, we can differentiate the anterior leaflet and the posterior leaflet. Also, we can assess the anterior mitral valve annulus and the posterior annulus. And the scallops visualized in this view are A3, A2 and P1. Attached to the leaflets, you often see the mitral valve cords. Now, below the mitral valve, we have the left atrium. The interatrial septum is this line between the two atriums. And at the bottom of the screen, you can see the left atrial roof. Entering the left atrium, we have the pulmonary veins. Two next to the interatrial septum and two next to the posterior mitral valve annulus. The next chamber at the top left of the screen is the right ventricle. 
the right ventricle is formed by the septum and the right ventricular free wall. The second valve on the left is the tricuspid valve. Oftenly in this view, we can visualize the septal leaflet and the anterior leaflet of the tricuspid valve. Also, we can see the papillary muscles together with the tricuspid valve cords. And don't forget about the tricuspid valve annulus. Finally, we have the right atrium and the right atrial wall and we can visualize the pericardium from all angles in this view. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. See you on another video. Bye.